right guys, I'm back right quick. I got this uh, figured out. Use my right eye and my left eye. Going for the six. No problem. Alright guys, you can see I was aiming for a six. Still getting used to the sights, but uh, me being left dominant and shooting with my right hand, it kind of just thrown it off to the left. Guys, I'm going to shoot the rest of this ammo up, and then uh, I'll get back to you later. I'll come out here some other time and uh, do some more shooting. Try to get used to these sights and the uh, way this thing shoots. Later. All right, guys, I'm back from the range. Uh, I'm going to add this part to, to the last of my Glock 19 video. Get it all together. So it'll probably be a little lengthy, but... Uh, I just want to sum up everything. I shot my 45. I had to. All these are. I emptied all these out. Um, I put 13 rounds through this new barrel, so that's the only rounds that's had through it. And I put 100 rounds through this and the. Uh, factory Glock barrel. I didn't keep track of how many I put through each. I gotta switch them back out after I clean everything. Um, this one seems to be shooting. I don't, maybe it's me. Uh, the sights look like they're even. It seems to be shooting a little left. But it could just be me getting used to the sights. Uh, it's also the first time I'm shooting this one, which I usually shoot pretty good, but today I'm, I was just off. Um, I usually shoot real good with the with the 21, but today, maybe it's because I've been up so long. I've been up for uh, 17 hours now, maybe a little bit more. But the day I took my concealment class, I was up for... 28 hours and I shot this group right here. This is the uh, target. That's, that right there is 30 rounds with uh, been up for 28 hours. So that's usually the way I shoot. But for some reason I was just off today. I don't know what the hell is. Um, the Ruger BX25, I had no issues with it. I shot a couple hundred rounds out of this. Worked very good. The 1022 shot good. I got my scope. That was the first time shooting it. I've had it a while. I just ain't had time to take them out. I got the scope lined up on it. I uh, shot this one time. And since I took it to the range, so I'm still getting used to this one. And still getting used to the sights. Uh, on my one video, I did have the... Uh, factory Glock site back here I just ordered a front one and I thought what the heck I went ahead and ordered the back one too so this one I did have a jam on this uh, Pro Mag 
But I shot out again. I didn't have an issue with it. So I'm going to shoot, shoot some more with it to see if there's anything. I might just need some break in. It is new. First time. Uh, like I said, it's uh, it was $25 at Cabela's. And uh, the factory Glock one, which is since 32, and the factory Glock is 33 rounds, it was $50. So I thought I'd give it a try, see how it does. Of course, I had no issues with the, the factory magazines. They all shot very well. Um, like I said, the only thing is I noticed the Glock 19 is shooting a little left, so I'm going to shoot some more with it. I might have to move the uh, back side over some to adjust for it shooting left. Or maybe it was just me today. I don't know. I'll have to find out. Go do some more shooting. Um... I said that is the uh, excess standard dot, not the big dot. That's um, the new Galco holster I got down at uh, it was uh, I think $65 Got it at Cabela's too. And you can see it. This also a fit a 17, so when I have the extended burr on there, it still it still don't come out the edge. Uh, this is all leather. There's no, uh, as far as I can tell, no sweat guard in there that I, th that I know of. Could be one sewed in there, possibly. But uh, I plan to get something and cover this, just be on the safe side. That way, no sweat goes through it. Like I said, I don't know if there's a piece of plastic between there or not, but be on the safe side so yeah, I believe that about covers everything I'll clean all this stuff up and I will see you guys later alright it's been a father time in C production later guys